Hello everybody and welcome back to another one of my builds. It's been quite a while since I uploaded but I do have a Sims 4 Cats and Dogs starter for you and here it is. So this starter has two bedrooms, one living space, a kitchen, a dining area and a little backyard as well. And I built it in the new world, Brinkerton Bay and it's cute and I purposely tried to make it sort of modest so it's not really like a rich home or anything like that it's sort of like an affordable middle class starter that you would see somewhere <laughs> so basically what I'm trying to say is it's not super flash and it's not super like I didn't use all of my favorite furniture I tried to get some sort of dated looking stuff in to make it a bit more realistic and I think I achieved the overall look pretty well I did some plants in the front yard that sort of made it look a little bit scruffy which kind of added to the overall look I suppose. I haven't been doing too many builds lately that's because I've been really busy and I've had a lot going on but I do plan to upload sort of more regularly uh, not twice a week as I had originally planned um, but I do have sort of a plan in mind I want to do maybe once every fortnight, maybe do like a build and then a tutorial and then something else and sort of just give it a bit of, give my channel a bit of variety. Also, I do really want to say thank you so much for 200 subscribers. I got quite a few subscribers in like the space of a month. I think the number just grew quite quickly. <laughs> I remember going to bed and then like I woke up the next day and I had 20 subscribers overnight it was crazy so thank you for that I do really appreciate it because I do enjoy making these it's a bit of fun a bit of something to fill my spare time with so thank you for watching and you know checking out my videos and downloading off the gallery which quite a few people have been doing as well which is really cool so thank you for that I do appreciate it so we're just coming in the master bedroom here finishing that one off and it's got a very dated look to it. It looks sort of grandma chic, <laughs> I guess. Um, but yeah, I did do that striped wallpaper from pets, well, you know, cats and dogs, huh, to make it a little bit more dated and to sort of bring in that middle class feel. I also did the kitchen as a separate room, which is something I never do. My kitchens are always open plan. I never do it this way, but I wanted to do it to add to the overall look and sort of add to the era, I suppose, because a lot of those sort of 70s houses and maybe even 80s, I'm not really too familiar with American architecture, but um, in that era, a lot of them had separate kitchens. Um, and, you know, usually when people renovate them, they knock down that dividing wall and make it open plan. And that's sort of something I wanted to incorporate because I see this home as something that Sims, you know, they grow with the home. So I'm going to move like a Sim family in here and then they're going to build on new rooms as they need them and renovate as they earn their money and stuff like that. So it's a really good storyline home, if you get what I'm trying to convey. So that was my vision with this one. As you can see, it's not like super flash. I didn't use the best items and the prettiest swatches. I use sort of like that sort of reddish toned brown color and some other greens to create that feel. So I believe we're nearly onto the screenshots now and here they are. So I didn't uh, actually film me furnishing the garden and like the backyard but I have included screenshots so you can see them. This house is custom content free and it's on my gallery right now if you want to go get it. My gallery is CCS Sims 4. I also have Twitter if you want to follow me. I don't really do much on there but I do have it. And subscribe if you enjoy my content if you want to see more and like it if you want to do that as well. That's fine by me. And I'll see you hopefully soon with another build.